This is Feeba Podcast. Thank you for joining us in our morning daily devotion. Good morning, dear listeners. Today, let's give thought to crisis in marriage and see how God helps people in such crisis to navigate through it. In this context, navigate is a better word than resolution, as in most instances, resolution may not be an easy option. But patiently waiting on God does bring peace. Psalm chapter 3 verse 3 says, But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. The world we live in has many contrasts. On one hand, every eligible single person is promptly advised to settle down in life, meaning to get married. On the other, people joke about marriage. While some fancy and hurry themselves into marriage, Others dread and try escaping it. While the wedding industry is booming around the world, it is true that lawyers are also getting richer because of increasing divorce cases. Yes, crisis has hit this God-ordained institution of marriage like never before. In fact, God's idea of marriage was always meant to be simple. But sin messed it up. Of all the forms of crisis, it is this one that most hurts individuals and families. While there are no easy quick fixes for complicated marriages, the Bible helps and guides in the right direction. Against this backdrop, let's look at an example of a complex marriage situation in Genesis, Jacob and Leah. Leah was married into the best of families, in fact into the most blessed and God-fearing family of the Hebrew patriarchs. They were wealthy, noble and influential. Despite this, hers was not a fairy tale marriage. For Jacob was in love with beautiful Rachel, Leah's younger sister. Marriages are supposed to be built on trust, truth and acceptance, but this marriage lacked it all. Leah's father Laban tricked Jacob into marrying her. When Jacob realized the deceit, he was willing to work for seven more years for Rachel. Thus, Leah became the scapegoat of her father's deceit and a victim of her culture. Leah's loveless marriage led her to have a turbulent relationship with her sister because Jacob loved Rachel more than her. This makes us ask why God was in all this. Genesis chapter 29 verse 31 says, When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved, he enabled her to conceive, but Rachel remained childless. Yes, the Lord did see Leah's misery and tears. Her grief was so much so that when Reuben was born, she said, It is because the Lord has seen my misery. So, what are the takeaways from Leah's life? She is a clear example of a spouse who navigated through a tough marriage and learned to accept it for what it is. Initially, Leah fought for Jacob's love and attention, but as years passed by, she made peace with her situation and looked to God for love, acceptance and honor. When her father, sister and husband overlooked her, God gave her the privilege of being first in her birth, marriage, childbearing and blessed her abundantly. Her fruitfulness was the evidence of God's favor over her life. By the time her fourth child was born, her mourning had turned into praise. She rejoiced over what she had over what she had not. With other children following, she thanked God for her fortune and felt blessed. At the end of his life, Jacob expressed his wish to be buried next to Leah and herein her honor was restored. God's ultimate blessing was that through Leah's children came the priests of Israel 
and the promised messiah dear brothers and sisters god sees your heart and knows your sorrows disappointments and wounds pursuing god patiently through crises helps us to endure suffering and grief be rest assured that everything will make sense in the end dear father i want to find my identity and worth in you even when rejected and unloved for you are the god who sees cares and restores help me to be patient through my trial and rejoice in your justice in jesus name i pray amen dear listener we are here to stand with you in your time of need We want to pray with you and for your prayer request. Do you need someone to talk to? We are here for you. Call us or send a message at plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four plus nine one six three six four two five two one six four. God bless you.